Hi, my name is Danny Fleming of the MA Properties team. Today's topic is I'm thinking about getting solar panels. Should I lease or buy? It depends. It depends on what type of market we're in. Are we in a seller's market, a buyer's market, or a balanced market? It also depends on how long you're planning on staying in the home. So why? In a seller's market, we don't have too many, well, first off I should qualify. Okay, if you own the solar panels, you, you've owned the solar panels, they stay with the house. If you've leased the solar panels, then when you sell the home, the buyer has to agree to assume the lease because those solar panels that are attached to your home are leased by you, not the home. So the buyer has to assume the lease. If you're in a buyer's market, we may have a challenge with that. You know, the buyers may decide that they don't want to assume a 20-year lease for solar panels. They just may decide that they don't want to. And if they don't, then you have to have them removed from the home. Now, a lot of folks think that, yeah, I can get them removed. That's easy. There's a clause in the, in the contract that says it's going to be $600 to remove them off the roof. What they're not recognizing is that there's also another clause in the contract that typically says that the, um, the lessor, let's say, the person who's leases the <laughs> you <laughs> you I get that mixed up um, you have to pay the remainder of the contract period of the um, average usage that was um, uh, that the solar panels that you had put on um, would generate so it's not just a $600 cost to remove them there's also the period of time that the solar panels would have been on the roof and how much um, energy they would have generated. So, so be aware of that. If you're thinking about selling in a year's time and it's currently a buyer's market, may not be a good idea. It might cost you an awful lot more money than you anticipated. If you own the, if you, if you, bought the, the solar panels and you paid for the solar panels and they're on your roof, then yeah, fantastic. Um, there are no concerns with what type of, oh, I should go back before I go on to that. Um, if you've leased them and we're in a seller's market, we typically haven't had too many issues with getting the buyers to adopt uh, to to assume the lease. Um, I once sold a home that the sellers had put the leased panels on um, in October of the prior year, and we bought the home on the uh, on the market on Mar in March. Five months later, they didn't even have history of how long. Um, how much uh, their, their energy costs were reduced, things like this. Luckily, we were in a seller's market. We had competing offers on the home and the buyers did assume the lease. But that was, that was dubious because we didn't have any information um, to provide the buyers. So in a seller's market, we don't tend to have too many problems getting the buyers to assume the lease, but there is a risk associated with that um, because you know the market could change you could lease the the panels now and the market could change in three years time and it be a buyer's market then I don't know um, if you own the solar panels fantastic fantastic um, the buyers love it um, they often will pay more for a home that has owned solar panels on rather than leased solar panels but Typically, and, and with that, if you've had them on the roof for a while, um, then, you know, you've got some history to show that there's, benef you know, there's benefits to having the solar panels. I do need to qualify a little bit, though. The buyers who are looking for a home almost never say, almost never say, I'm looking for a home that has solar panels. 
I won't buy a home unless it has solar panels. You never hear them say that. Um, so it's not it's not a searchable criteria. It's not one that <coughs> the, the buyers are only looking for homes with solar panels on them. Where I was going with saying they often pay more is once they've, they've fallen in love with the home inside and they find that there's own solar panels on the roof and they see what the utility bills are, ooh, ooh, this is great. They will pay more at that point in time. Um, that doesn't apply for leased solar panels though. So it depends. How long are you planning on staying in the home? Are you going to plan in uh, staying in the home long enough to get some history as to how your energy, um, what your utility bills have, have reduced to? Or um, are you thinking about leasing or buying? If you're thinking about buying, go for it. If you're thinking about leasing, it depends again on how long it is um, before you plan on selling because that could be um, it, it could be risky. So anyway, hope that's um, chat, you know, hope that's explained just a little bit more about those. Um, and if you want to talk about this, oh, if you want to talk about this um, anymore, we or want to learn about more of this on our blog post, um, we have one of um, a blog post that talks about solar panels um, and it goes into the specifics of it. So if you want to read more about it, um, you can go and research that or just call or email and, uh, and I'll send it to you. So anyway, have a great day and uh, I'll talk to you later.